How we going guys? Hoops and Jarvis here with another video. Today we're just in the bush down near, near where we live and we're actually, um, we are gonna make something. So the other day when uh, we went out to the cave, uh, we met a guy named Rob who was part of the Speological Department and he uh, made Jarvis a little bit of an ax. So we found this um, bit of rock and we're gonna sharpen her up. We're gonna cut down a bit of a uh, wooden handle and we're gonna make some um, some glue from the pine sap, um, from the uh, grass tree sap, uh, wood ash, and from uh, kangaroo dung. So we're gonna do the whole thing, set this in some wood, the handle, we'll burn the hole uh, with some charcoal. Uh, so this is the old traditional way of making a uh, bushcrafting axe. So yeah, stay tuned, and we'll see you shortly, right after the intro. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it there. The uh, that little ball that you can see, that's the sap that these grass trees produce, and that's what we're going to turn our make our pitch out of glue pitch. Oh, look at this one right there. Get in there and grab it off. You want me to show the the viewers what it looks like first before you snap it off? Yeah, oh, yeah. Off. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> right, so this doesn't hurt the tree, guys. It's just, um, it's, it just repairs itself. So it just puts out these blobs of uh, pine uh, resin. There you go. Jarvis has found one. I've just got him to um, try and pry it off with the knife, hopefully, without cutting himself. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we've got a few pieces now. We'll chuck I, it. I kind of snapped it. Chuck it in the I bag. Think, we've got a few, few good size pieces in there now. Alrighty, looks like we found a uh, old peppermint. It, it seems like it's dead, so we'll take um, our handle from this piece. So, so we've got the axe head, which we're going to shape down, but we want to be able to select a nice thick piece that this will we can burn through, but not too thick. I'm thinking this part here, mm -hmm. it's nice and thin still, but it's thick okay. enough for the, the head to go through. So I'll lop off probably that section there. Yeah. Um, so there we go. Take it up just above the knot here. You see, there's a knot a branch. We'll take it above it so we can recess our hack head in there.
nice and light too, which is good. And just remove the bark because I want to see what the wood looks like. Looks good. Yeah, it's perfect. It'll make a nice, nice axe. Basically, it will look like that. Perfect. All right, that was it. So we're gonna do the fun part now, and that's uh, find some kangaroo poop. It's, um, there's plenty of kangaroos in this bush, and uh, we'll try find some that are semi-fresh, not not moist fresh, but dry enough that we can um, mix through with the actual um, the pitch glue that we're gonna make. So yeah, so we got a got a handle now, and we've got our sap. And yeah, we'll um, find some poop and we'll show you how to mix it. And yeah, we'll show you some uh, how we attach the, ha uh, the head to, to this and then we'll glue it on as well, just for extra. Cool. All right, there we go. We've got a couple couple pieces of the uh, kangaroo dung, which we'll stuff in our bag. It's pretty dry, so I can touch it with my hands. It's not gonna matter. But yeah, we'll collect those up and see if we can get a few more and we want to do um like one part of this one part of the resin and uh i mean one part of this one part of the ash and three parts of the resin so that should be a few more pieces of that and we'll be good to go right now all we need is the last ingredient which is just some of this charcoal so we'll collect up a few pieces of these and crush them into a fine powder and then we'll add that into our uh, mixture as well. So that should be plenty. All right, there we go. So we've got our piece of uh, wood, which we're gonna mark um, on the, uh, below this knot here, but on this side, we'll um, mark it and uh, start doing a hole through here to go all the way through for the ax head to uh, finish all the way through like that. Um, and we've got our nice big pieces that Jarvis found of um, the pine sap, or the grass tree, Xanthoria sap, resin. All right. We've got charcoal that we're going to grind up very shortly. And then also the kangaroo dung. So we'll make a mixture of all these three and we'll be able to make a glue, a pitch. So. Stay tuned, we'll uh, probably hyperlapse doing a bit of this and we'll go from there. So I've just, if you can see that, I've just marked the size of the head that we're going to do. And traditionally what you would do is you would carve a little bit out with your knife, set a bit of charcoal in there, blow it until it burns all the way through. But as you can see, this is actually very thick. So what I'm going to do is cheat. So don't hate me for cheating, but today with modern technology, uh, we can make this a lot easier and a lot less painful. So I'm gonna go into the shed and drill out this section. Then we will burn the rest of it out with um, charcoal and fire. So that sits in there just nicely. But yep, that's what I'm gonna do, drill it. Oh, yep, there it. we go. Look at that first strike. <laughs> Right, so now we're just going to crush up all our materials. So um, 
this one I'm going to put the charcoal and crush it up and I've already crushed up the as much as I could with the uh, kangaroo dung so I'm just going to drop that in there use the handle of the, the axe that we're making just to turn this into like a fine powder Can't really see it there, but there you can. Just crushed up powder. That should be plenty fine enough. Now we'll uh, just heat up the bits of sap in here and um, get it to melt, and then we'll add the three ingredients together. All right, so all the uh, resin, as you can see there, is melted down. So now we just got to add in the charcoal and the uh, dung. Right now we're just going to uh, try and burn this hole a little bit bigger just by chucking a couple of chunks of charcoal in there and blowing. Alrighty. Now this axe almost does go through. I mean, I could probably get that with a bit of force, but I might just carve it a little bit more with my knife and scrape away all that burnt charcoal. There we go, we've managed to burn it out quite a bit and uh, I just got the head to go in, so that's perfect, that's what we want. And then what we'll do is we'll fill all that up with the pitch resin and uh, go from there. All right, so I've just added in a tiny bit of the charcoal and a bit of the dung and I've just reheated it so now it no, it looks like real thick, thick glue. So what I'm going to do now is just 
paste it on on our axe and try to get it in there. Inside it as well. It's going to be messy, guys, but we'll be able to possibly clean this off. I don't know. Well, also, one precaution is don't get on your skin. Yeah, it's very sticky. Make sure you wear gloves or just avoid touching it with your hand, which I'm doing with a stick. Yeah, so it's going to take forever to get off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to basically seal it all the way around. I'm just going to heat it, heat it back up again. All right, this is the last little bit of it before the, the phone battery, uh, the memory on my phone runs out. So I'll just quickly add it and then we'll uh, exit as well. So just want to fill in, get a bit more of this stuff on there. Doesn't, it's not meant to look pretty, which is definitely not the case with this one, but it's meant to be. Yeah, it's just strong. Yeah. Just a strong homemade glue. Not for aesthetics though. Mm, that's right. So it's traditional. Yeah. So the Aboriginals would have done that to their arrows and uh, spears. Sorry, not arrows. Right, there we go. We sharpened it a bit on a rock. Uh, we did hit it with a grinder first, but sharpened it up with the, on a rock and um, water. So we managed to get that a little bit, a little bit sharper. And the the glue came up all right. I gave the handle a bit of a, uh, just a tiny sand down and got a couple of the knots off. Um, probably put some paracord over here just to etch it on a little bit tighter, but it, that's solid. It's not going anywhere. Anyway, Jarvis is going to uh, have a shot trying to cut this piece of wood. So uh, in three, two, one, go. Good job. Easy done. You know, oh, this is pretty hard. So, yeah. Really again. That looks pretty good. We'll tidy it up, and then ah, oh, yeah, oh. homemade, homemade axe. You want to hold it up for the camera? There you go. That's uh, how we make old school stonehead axe uh, with the old uh, Xamparilla pine sap or sap and uh, kangaroo dung and ash. Mm. There we go guys, that's the end of that video. It's uh, just a quick video for um, all you guys out there who want to know how to make the, the uh, Xamparilla um, pitch glue and how to even make a stone head axe. Uh, just a simple, simple method of doing it with the uh, fire and charcoal and mixing the glues with the, uh, the dung and charcoal, things like that, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share, like. And yeah, you can follow me on my Facebook, uh, Facebook and Instagram and all those things and you'll probably see at the end now, there's the, one of the boxes over here will be my latest video and uh, down the bottom would be um, YouTube's recommended video. So also check out my playlists. I've got a fair few bushcrafting and uh, fishing kind of videos and things like that. But yeah, cheers and uh, thanks for watching guys. Peace out. Stay moist.